Good morning, Calvary, and happy Monday. Hey, it was it was great being able to worship with some of you uh, this last weekend. And uh, if you were there, it was great to see you and to praise Jesus together live. If you were part of Calvary Online Campus, it was great to have you there with us as well. Uh, and so we're, we're comfortable whichever way you choose to worship and celebrate Jesus, just as long as you choose to worship and celebrate Jesus. Hey, I get to share the word of the day. And, and so uh, today we're looking at 1 John chapter 4, the beginning of that chapter. And uh, before I, I read this passage, do you like to take tests? I, I know the first reaction that everybody says is, no, I don't want to take tests. But a lot of you like to take tests because you take them on Facebook all the time, right? Determine what kind of animal you are, to determine what kind of dog you're going to be, what kind of car you would be, what kind of Star Wars character you'd be, you know, all that stuff. So you take the test. That, that, that's that's a reality. But here's another question. Do you like to give tests to other people? <laughs> because the Apostle John actually challenges us to be test administrators, if you will, in the spiritual realm in this passage. Listen to what he says. He says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and now is in the world already. Little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are from the world, therefore they speak from the world and the world listens to them. We are from God. Whoever knows God listens to us. Whoever is not from God does not listen to us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Did you catch that? The Apostle John wants you and I to be administrators of spiritual tests to determine the truthfulness of the spirits. He says, look, the reality is there are false prophets that are coming out. And they are presenting all kinds of things. And some of them sound crazy uh, opposite of Jesus. And some of them sound a lot like Jesus. And some of them, they, they use the name Jesus, but they're not of Jesus. Uh, and he says, look, here's what's going to happen. You're going to believe the false prophets unless you can test the spirits and see which ones are of God. Uh, because if you don't know the truth, you're going to believe the lies. You're going to believe the lies. And, and he says, look, don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of the Antichrist. Don't be afraid of all those false prophets because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. See, when you confess Jesus, God the Holy Spirit moved into your life and he guarantees your salvation and he convicts you of sin and he teaches you the truth and he comforts you in pain. Uh, he is there with you and he's never going to leave you, never going to forsake you. But here's the reality. If you want to hear the Holy Spirit in your life, then you need to give him voice. Do you know what the voice of the Holy Spirit is? It's the Word of God. That, look, that's why we want you to read the Bible. That's why we want you to study the Bible. That's why we want you to memorize the Bible, because uh, as you do that, you amplify the voice of the Holy Spirit in your life. A lot of you want to know what God wants you to do. You want to hear from God. You want to, Him to answer your prayers. Well, guess what? You need to know Scripture if you're going to be able to discern the voice of the Holy Spirit and tell the truth of God from the lies of the false prophets. So when you read the Bible, when you study Scripture, when you memorize Scripture, guess what happens? The Spirit begins to convict you and teach you uh, about living for Christ. That, that's the very first thing that's going to happen. If you start devouring Scripture, reading Scripture, then uh, I can't read Scripture without God the Holy Spirit applying it to my life first. He's going to convict you of sin. That's going to be part of it, which is great because when he convicts you of sin, then you can confess that sin, you can repent of that sin, and the grace of God flows into your life in wonderful ways. And then the Holy Spirit is going to reveal false teaching in the lies of the enemy. See, when you know the truth, the lies become obvious. If you don't know the truth, then the lies are easy to believe. You're an easy target for the false prophets, for the enemy who is a deceiver and a liar from the beginning. So we need to know the truth. So when you, when you begin to read scripture, then the Holy Spirit reveals the false teachings and the lies of the enemy. They start to stand out to you like, I can't believe anyone believes that. 
And then as you read scripture, the Holy Spirit leads you to understand God's perspective in this world. Now, this is really cool. If you will, he opens your eyes to see things from God's vantage point. When you really fill your life with scripture, then the Holy Spirit's able to open your eyes to see God redeeming other people. You begin to see how God's working in the lives of the people around you and your family. You begin to understand why it's so important to love even people who are nasty to you, to forgive even people who, who haven't repented, to, to serve others even when they're not appreciative because you realize that God's in it and you begin to see the world from his perspective. And then when you read scripture, when you study scripture, when you memorize scripture, then the Holy Spirit alters our attitude. And he does that so that we'll increase faith and live in joy. And, and I'm not making light of this. As you get to know the Word of God and listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit in your life, then your faith is going to increase. Because you're going to see God at work and you're going to understand His, His will in this world. And as you see that, your joy is going to go up. I'm not saying life's going to be full of just laughter and, and fun all the time. What I'm saying is you're going to know God's with you. He's never going to leave you. And His truth is real because greater is He that is in you than he that is in the world. That's a reality. So let's give the Holy Spirit voice. Let's put the Word of God into our life so He can speak it into our mind. God bless. Hope you have a great day and hope you memorize some scripture.